Alright, I'm here. I basically finished my um, scarf. This is um, how that looks. Okay, and um, I need to um, I need to finish up right now. Okay, and this is my last row here. And um, let me quickly. Finish those last um, last minute last um, peg um, castings, okay? And um, and I'll show you how to um, bind off. Yet it's not any different. Binding off here is not any different that we would do on any other loom, okay? It's the same, it's just we have a smaller um, amount of pegs here, okay? And this is our last row here. Okay. And let me see what exactly do I have left. Um, it could make one more stitch, maybe. Okay, I'll do one more stitch. See, this is the length, and I'll do one more stitch. And um, I knit it. I'll knit it, and this is it, and I'll finish it up. Okay, um, because I still, uh, maybe no, maybe it's not enough. Okay, I want. To I, I, I'll, I'll do this, okay, because I need this length actually on my scarf, so I um, when I bind this off, I need this one. Okay, so um, we simply do this. We take this stitch and put on the other one, and then we take from the bottom stitch and then knit it. Now we take this stitch and we are coming from right to left. Okay, and put on the empty uh, peg here. And we take next stitch to it and move on this stitch here. And we need this one as well. We move this again from right to left. We take this stitch from this peg and put on here. And we need this one. Okay. And again, we move this one next to the last peg, move this on top of it, and we are finished. Okay, this was my last peg, and I'll remove this from the um, loom, remove the loom all together. It's not that easy. It gets entangled in the... Uh, Okay, and um, our leftover yarn right here, see, I'll take this yarn, end of the yarn, and do this. And this is finished. Now, um, we don't want this too much to, um, to show up, okay? So basically, it's not showing up, but... Um, I still would would try to hide this inside here, okay? Which is not too much of the room, but try to hide inside as much as long as it goes, as long as you can, okay? And this is it. And we have our our scarf finished. How exciting, I don't know, that was a really fun project, it was a really nice project. Okay, let me show you in full scale how this scarf looks, okay? Alright, that's how um, our final finished um, scarf looks like, okay? This is quite long, and which is good, I'm happy with the length of it, um, but um, the, the just for the information, um, if you would like to make two scarves, um, you can make, uh, you can divide one roll into two, and it's perfect for quick, fast um, project. Okay, like um, last-minute project. 
for a gift um, for someone and um, one rule makes two two small short um, tiny teeny nice scarves okay this one really looks great feels great has um, amazing beautiful texture to it and um, I am really happy um, the way it ended up the way at uh, the final um, look at, at um, um, it has okay all right I am here and um, this is the loom that I made um, my scarf with um, sounds familiar I mean looks familiar of course okay um, let me tell you why I would not use this anymore even though I loved it um, and it made my beautiful scarf um, I had a few problems with it at the first of all it's not designed for um, um, for looming it's for you know it's not for knitting it's actually for beading okay uh, plus um, the way I was using I was using it outwards I, I'm knitting outwards I'm not putting my fabric inside of the tube here okay and um, that actually caused the pegs to tang get in, uh, tangled in um, in the yarn it will get in tangled in any yarn I will use but this one was especially sensitive to it see how easy it gets tangled and a few times I even lose the stitches and I managed but it still um, was a little bit difficult another problem I had with this was um, that um, I had to hold one on one hand the loom and so my one hand was busy just on by only holding it and with I wor was working with the other hand I was casting and stitching and knitting and so on so um, I didn't have much of the flexibility I didn't have the freedom for my both of hands okay and then it um, sparked the idea that it would be very nice if it would be somewhere uh, mounted okay now I have something I came up with something that I would like to share with you and let me show you what it is this is the loom I invented this is actually the base and um, it has settings here see it just goes right here and this is one of those settings I made again I have a bunch of them okay and I'll show you um, in, on my other videos too so this is how that looks okay um, I have another one um, which is much bigger so you can make either um, blanket or something big here so um, and what I really like about this is this um, you take these looms you exchange the settings on there okay and this is free your hands are free and it's really convenient to use okay and another thing I actually I don't have this finished yet I have to make the controls here so if I want to move this up like let me show you what do I mean let's say I need my loom a little bit higher okay let's say I need to do this higher and then stay in this position okay how would I do that yeah I already know how would I do this I just have to work a little more on it okay and um, actually I will right away post the loom for sale on my website you can purchase this for from directly from my website and but that's besides the points actually all those looms you can made with hand but what I really have for you is the fun that um, objects I mean the fabric and then types of fabrics you can make on on the loom on these looms this is just amazing it's another world it is really uh, something else I will explode honestly if I want share this information with you and um, this is going to be a fun experience um, 
and you just keep watching on my videos i'll i'll keep uh, posting a new um new projects on these looms and um let's have fun okay let's have fun together all right everyone i hope you enjoyed <clears throat> our adventures of uh, mesh yarn and um uh, actually sachet and starbella are the uh, companies who are making them and I wish you good luck to all of you. Uh, make lots of scarves for yourself, for your friends, for me family members. Give away. Enjoy the um, yarn. Enjoy all the fun this yarn brings to your life. And um, for the meanwhile, thanks for listening.